share with you. Uh, but in closing, uh, the last speaker will be talking about the um, Continental African Unity Party, which is um, something that I really have, believe have a lot of potential. So at this time, we'd like to call on Brother Kwajo uh, Jibor and his team. Good evening, kings and queens in the house. Uh, we greet you all from the African Continental Unity Party, the ACUP. You know, when you talk about politics, many people get upset. They are angry, they don't want to hear anything about politics because it has been adulterated and politics has become a dirty game for everybody. But it is because of politics that all of you here who look just like me and all our brothers and sisters from Ghana are being called foreigners. I think there is no justification for a people or our own blood that were taken out of this country and on this continent in chains. Possibly whilst they were going, they had behind them lands, homes, family, and everything. They took them away in chains, and today they are being returned. They have been told that they are foreigners, they cannot acquire land, they can everything because the laws are colonial laws and the laws are being used to protect the interests of colonizers and the imperial system. This needs to stop, of course. I believe that since February 1966, 24 February 1966, when Nkrumah was overthrown, our Pan-Africanism went to sleep. But the time has come that Pan-Africanism needs to resurrect it and be able to bring Africa back to Africans and Africa becoming African for Africans. So this is what the African Continental Unity Party, the ACUP, stand for. Uh, what is the difference between the ACUP and all other political parties? We all know that uh, in the past, if we know our father, our, 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 our great-grandfather, Marcos Gabi, he was pushing our liberation through our uh, economic empowerment. Our great-grandfather, uh, Sheikh Anta Diop, was uh, pushing uh, the African liberation through education and empowerment of the brain. And Kwame Nkrumah, the Osage Force, was pushing the African liberation through political empowerment and owing of the political power. Here is the ACUP. We try to bring all these angles, the economic empowerment, the uh, mental liberation, and also the holding of the political power. What actually decide who gets what and when and how into the hands of the Africans. So uh, with the African Continental Unity Party, we are building this agenda on a vision to re-establish Africa as a global power base. We believe that um, the reason why all of us are here and trying to find our way out without knowing where we are going is because we lack power. And this power that we lack is because the power has been taken away from us. For a long time, the laws, uh, the resources, the human capital, what even we learn in our schools, are all being controlled by the imperial system. So what is the ACB doing? It is of Africans, both home and also in the diaspora, we are coming together to begin to uh, train new class of African leaders and also empower them economically. We don't want a situation whereby uh, we go to the Europeans, we go to the Chinese, or we go to anybody to come to finance or to sponsor us. We are doing all that by ourselves to be able to build a strong political force to take political power and turn that political system that is being working against Africans into a political force that is working for the interests of the Africans. Um, in the ACUP is at a global level is a movement because um, the Berlin Conference of uh, 1840, 1885, 18, it is, uh, 1884, 1885 has actually put in a boundary among families, friends, and the people of the same interest. And we cannot, uh, I am here in Ghana, I cannot participate in politics in Togo, but the people of Togo are more different from myself. Therefore, uh, what we are doing is that we are putting at the continental level a movement 
that allows all Africans to participate in developing a new mode of political system. And in various countries, for instance, in Ghana, we have begun the registration of the ACUP and uh, we have been issued a provisional certificate by the Electoral Commission of Ghana to allow us to operate as a political party and be able to run and capture political power. And that means that we will be able to bring Pan-Africanism back as what Nkrumah did in, uh, from 1957 until he was overthrown in 1966. So um, with the ACUP, I would like to pause here because I have a limited time and give it to my brother Anthony to say something before we move on. Thank you. Yeah. We didn't come here to, to be part of this, so we, we don't have no time. But we did come prepared for you to find out more about us. I wear three heads. I'm with my brother here. I'm also with my other brother there, United Family Coin. He's developed a coin that never goes down your value, and he's developed for us in Africa. We, I have a, a, a community center, which you'll find all these things in there, and you'll also find a root bedrooms ready for the diaspora to come back in. You don't have to come to this hotel and pay big prices. You, 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 it should be free. You come there and stay with me. So, I don't have no time, but what I'm saying, I'm gonna bring a form around. Those cakes and those, those food that you're eating, they are free, but it doesn't mean that you have to sign your name and your contact details on the forms that I've left there. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Okay, so that's the conclusion of this um, session. Um, we're thankful that you all came through. We'll take a few questions before we uh, close it out. Uh, so, any questions for any of the panelists, just call them their name and we'll take a few questions before we officially close out. Yes, my sister. Hi, 